Hi, I'm Azuz, and this video is going to be a sticker scraping showdown between the Boston and Krakow stickers. Before I get started though, I'm doing a factory new M4A4 Desolate Space giveaway. To enter, just check out the link in the description below. The winner will be drawn in 48 hours, so best of luck. Now, back to the subject of the video, I'm going to be trying out seven different types of team stickers. I've got one Boston sticker and one Krakow sticker for each of them. I'm going to stick them next to each other on a red line, scrape them until their backgrounds disappear, and then check them out in game to see which one turned out the best. And whichever major gets the most points wins. I am perfectly happy to go back and do the other teams in the future if there's interest in that, but I wanted to keep this video to a realistic length, so I've just focused on some of the the better known teams or the, the more popular stickers. Also, we'll keep track of the score throughout the video using this scoreboard at the bottom of the screen. So let's get started. Okay, so we'll start with Phase. So I've got um the the Boston sticker here and the PGR sticker here. So we'll start on the Boston sticker. I know quite a few people were a bit disappointed that they decided to make this sticker just plain red, but I actually prefer it that way. I think the the primary colours version looks a little bit tacky. Okay, so that's seven scrapes. It's come out pretty clean. There's a little bit of scratching here. There's a little bit of mesh left there, but otherwise it's pretty good. Let's try the PGL sticker by comparison. I kind of think this one is sort of aesthetically horrible. Like, I don't like, as I said, I don't like the the yellow and blue, but also it's got a, a really big white outline. It's just not good. Not that it stops it from selling in bucket loads. Okay, so that's gotten rid of it. There's still an outline there. I'm, you know what, I'm going to give it one more scrape. If this if this screws it up, I'll just get another one and scrape it until it's at this point so we can do a proper in-game comparison. So we'll go now. That's taking quite a while to scrape. Um, I don't think that made really any difference whatsoever. So let's check these out in-game. Okay, so overall I think the Boston sticker turned out better in this one. The I mean, not only is the logo itself bigger, I mean, that's obviously by design, by the nature of the sticker, but... There's a lot less of the background of the sticker left visible. You can still see a big outline where the bit underneath the, the logo was on the bot on the Krakow sticker, whereas the Boston one looks almost completely clean. So I think it's pretty clear at this point that First Blood goes to Boston. Okay, so next up, Virtus Pro. I thought I'd swap the positions of the stickers from the respective majors just in case that's having an effect that this way we might actually notice it. So I'll start on the Krakow sticker. It is a slightly bigger logo than the Boston one, like, I may have to give it bonus points just for the fact it's a, a nicer sticker if you've only got the logo left. I mean, it's not the only thing that matters, but it helps. Um, I think it needs at least one more. Ooh, okay, I'm, I'm actually... There's a bit of the, the background left there, but because it meshes with the red line, I'm going to leave that, because at least on this skin, you can barely notice it. So let's try the... Boston sticker now. From memory, I think this one worked really well when I did it for my first scraping video, so hopefully this one will as well. It could turn out to be another easy victory for the Boston stickers, but I guess we'll see. Either way, it's not looking great for Krakow so far. Okay, that fucked up the sticker a little bit, but it did get rid of all the background. They're both a little bit battered, but let's compare them in game. So, unfortunately, the background stands out quite a bit more on the PGL sticker than I'd like, which is a bit of a pity. I'm going to give this one a tie overall, because although the the Boston sticker is smaller and it is a bit scratch, there's just so much ugly stuff around the PGL sticker that I think it sort of turned out kind of even. Okay, so third sticker, SK. Um, we'll start on E-League. Once again, the Boston sticker's a bit smaller than the PGL sticker, although I don't think it's going to count for much unless we can get rid of that great big ugly background on the PGL sticker. I think the Boston one should scrape fine, though. One more. Okay, that turned out fine. There's a little bit of mesh left, but I think we'll get away with that. Let's try out the Krakow sticker. I wonder how many people remember that only a few years ago, SK had a dog shit Danish lineup that never achieved anything. Seems so weird not thinking of them as the best team in the world. But then they had a legendary 1.6 team, so I think it's weird for 1.6 people seeing them with a crap team anyway. 
Ooh, okay, I'm gonna try one more scrape and hopefully I'll get rid of the rest of the background. If it fucks it up, I'll just stick another sticker on it and get it to this point to do the in-game comparison, but this isn't looking good. Okay, you know what, that's close enough. I think um, it's clear who's won, but we'll have a look in-game anyway. Okay, so I think it's fairly obvious that the E-League sticker turned out a lot better in this particular instance. That Krakow one was a bit of a shit show when I tried to scrape it, so that's two out of three so far for the, the Boston stickers, and the other one we'll say was a tie. So looking pretty good for Boston at this point. Next up we've got G2. Okay, so we're going to do G2 now. We'll start on the PGL one. I'll give the PGL one some credit. It does have much bigger logos, so not much bigger, but slightly bigger. Like, I think the current E-League ones could be a little bit bigger. I think it's a bit of a disappointment that they're not. In any case, uh, I'll give this one more. Okay, let's scratch it a little bit, but it does seem to have gotten rid of most of the background. So that's looking pretty good. That one did actually scrape fairly well. Maybe I should have stopped before that last scrape, but... Either way, now for the Boston sticker. Obviously, the um, samurai has taken up French citizenship. I think I think it's a samurai. Anyway, someone correct me in the comments if I'm wrong. Um, you can't really see the mesh there, but it is there. So I'll give it one more scrape, just for the, particularly for the purposes of fairness as well. Ah, oh, that damaged the sticker a little bit. I might have gotten away without doing that as well, but if it was on a lighter skin it'd really stand out. So we'll compare these two in game. They're both a little bit better, but let's see which one turned out better. Okay, so for this one, I'm going to give a slight edge to the Krakow sticker because basically to get rid of all the background on the Boston sticker, I had to damage the sticker itself a bit. And on a red line, because the background of the Boston sticker is the same color as the red line, you could probably get away without doing that one last scrape. But on any other gun, you'll probably need to, and that seems to damage the sticker. Well, as I was able to get rid of pretty much all the background except for the outline on the Krakow sticker without damaging it. So, one point for Krakow from this one. And next up we have Cloud9. Okay, so let's start scraping these. From memory, I think the Cloud9 one scrape really well. So, hopefully we'll get to... Uh, I think the Boston one's going to turn out quite good. I'm a little bit worried about the Krakow one. I feel like this one could end up being a bit of a mess. Okay. Oh, that one scratched more than I was hoping. Still, this compares to the Krakow sticker. Maybe it will exceed my expectations, but I'm not optimistic. It's a good metaphor for a Cloud9 at Majors in the past, actually. But not this time. I'm glad they've made it to the, the playoffs. Okay, that's most of the logo gone for the Krakow sticker. Do one more. Um, I'm going to leave it at that because I'm going to really fuck up the sticker itself otherwise. So let's check these out in game. Okay, so even though the Boston sticker did turn out a bit scratched, there's so much background left on the cow one that it's going to have to go to Boston here. I think I might have been a bit unfortunate with the RNG scraping that Boston sticker anyway. Like I think normally it'll turn out a bit better than that. Okay, so it's Navi's turn. Start on the PGL sticker. The Navi logo might be nice and big, but I think it's still an awful bloody sticker. I'm not sure who thought the backgrounds like that and the PGL stickers were a good idea. They look fucking hideous. I think this one's going to work a bit better though. Um, yeah, I'll leave it at that. I think I'm going to start really damaging the logo if I go anymore. Now time for the Boston sticker. I actually am surprised just how much bigger the PGL logos are. Like, I didn't realise until I started sticking them next to each other on guns just how small the Boston ones were. I mean, the only problem really is that for some reason someone decided it'd be a good idea to put these fucking hideous things underneath them. Okay, that Navi sticker. I could scrape it one more time, but I'm going to damage it. So I'm just going to leave it like that and we'll check these out in game. Okay, so I'm going to give this one to PGL by a narrow margin, and the reason is I wasn't really able to properly get rid of all the background for either of these stickers, 
but at least the PGL one needs to have a bigger logo, so I'm going to give it to it. Okay, so final stickers, Astralis. Let's um, start scraping on the Boston sticker. Really like this logo. It's just neat and simple and cool. But hopefully this one will scrape okay. Um, I think they're slightly finicky to try and scrape off. Okay, I'm going to go for one more scrape. Please don't fuck it up. Oh, I don't think this is good. Okay, no, that turned out okay. It's a little bit damaged, but otherwise, otherwise it's good. We'll do the Krakow one now. I really don't like that silver outline on the Krakow sticker. Like, I think it looks pretty horrible, but hopefully it'll still turn out okay once I'm finished scraping it. Or at least work out better than the Boston Major did for the team anyway. Okay, that's most of it gone. I'll give it one last scrape. Oh, okay, that, that damaged it slightly, but it did get rid of all of the background. So, we'll have a look at these in game. You know what? I was wrong. It didn't get rid of all the background at all. It actually still shows up quite a bit. So, I think this one is definitely going to have to go to Boston because there's still quite a bit of silver showing up behind the cow sticker. Not to mention it's an uglier logo anyway. While as the, um, the Boston one scraped a lot better. There's obviously a little bit of background left there, but... I think it's clear which one you'd rather have on your gun. So, in conclusion, overall the Boston stickers seem to have done slightly better. It, it was definitely competitive, it was like a, you know, a FaZe versus SK game. SK wins every time, but it was competitive. But nonetheless, we do have a clear winner. So, overall, Boston stickers are a bit better to scrape. Also, if FaZe going to win this major, I'm about to sound really, really stupid. Anyway, if you enjoyed this video, Please leave a like, comment, subscribe. Don't forget to enter into that giveaway. Otherwise, trust the numbers, not your guts. I'm Jesus. Thanks for watching. See ya.